How we doing? I'm William Myers from Prepared Mind 101. We're going to go on a little bit of wild edible scout right now. I'm going to show you some different edibles that are out in the woods and what they can be used for. Okay, this is what we call dryad saddle. And uh, one of the best ways to identify this is uh, obviously you see the brown feathery type of uh, skin that it has on it. And plus, if you actually take this and you, and you smell the underside of it, it smells like watermelon rinds. There's nothing else like this in the eastern woodlands. Uh, I always suggest that you do your research and either that or have an expert with you before you harvest wild uh, edible mushrooms. You can, you have the responsibility to yourself and your family to know what you're doing because the wrong mushroom can be absolutely fatal. Don't go away, we'll show you some more stuff. And not only fatal, but you might see like some fairies and it's unicorns and stuff too. So. Yeah, yeah. Hey, one more thing about this dryad saddle. Like I said, it's an absolute great wild edible, you know, but like I said, it is a mushroom. Be careful what you're doing. Um, we cut these up. There is a kind of a hard part to this that's kind of inedible. So, you know, we cut around this, slice it up, put it in a pot of boiling water. I save some a little bit, you know, and I'll flake it off and, uh, you know, put put just a little sliver on a hook, throw it out, use it for fishing bait. It, it works, but, you know, it'll catch, you know, panfish like bluegill, crappie, stuff like that. So it's just one thing to put in your toolbox, remember. You know, if you're out here and you find a resource like this, you can use the multi-use of it to catch other food. And that food, the guts from that food can catch other food. So on and on and on. You know, just something that's, that's great to know. That, you know, use your resources to its full advantage. So thanks. I'm William Myers from Prepared Mind 101. That sucks, don't it? Yeah. You know how many times I've done that? <laughs> I'm William Myers from Prepared Mind 101. Thanks for watching. All right, so Chris actually stepped on this one, so I almost had a panic attack. This is one of my absolute favorite wild edibles. These are ramps, and if I can get down here and get a good one for you guys, these are, like I said, my absolute favorite. These bulbs right here chopped up, a little bit of butter, maybe even some potatoes. Awesome, can't beat this. This is uh, a great wild edible to know. They're everywhere in eastern woodlands. You know, if you know what you're doing, you're not going to go out of the woods hungry. All right, what we got down here is trout lily. This is one of my awesome favorite, also one of my favorite uh, wild edibles of the eastern woodlands. This thing has an awesome taste, great taste. One of the key identifiers, obviously, is the red flower that's going to come out. If you look at the leaves, it's kind of got, I don't know, what I'd call a camo pattern on it. If you get a real close-up view of that. This is a great wild edible to know. And while we're at it, we can just do this. This is something that's already in the same area. Let's get an extreme close-up of that. These are wood sorrels. This is, you know, what I teach to my kids. One of the first edibles that I teach to my kids. It's a great, great edible. You know, has a has a great lemony sour flavor to it. It's an oxalis. It has oxalis acid in it. You know, you'll see stuff on the web where if you eat too much of it, it can leach the calcium from your bones. But you'd have to eat tons of this stuff every day to have any kind of effect on you so you know not everything you read on the internet is true so don't go away we'll show you some more how's it taste with ranch <laughs> it tastes pretty good ranchy yeah ranchy okay what you got okay we got white violets here and you know they're the key identifier of the heart shaped leaves and if we can get a close-up of the flower itself you'll see almost the, if you know what jewel weed is it kind of hangs the same way that jewel weed does but the key identifier are the five, the, th the three petals on top, four petals on top, but that bottom petal will always have like stripes in it. If you could follow me over here, Chris, we got a, a purple violet over here somewhere that I've seen. You can see this is a purple violet, and it hangs the same way, and that bottom leaf will have just little stripes. Nice little designs in them. These are also pretty good edibles. You know, this serum, great. You know, good good food. Great for teas. A nice calming. It makes like a light tea. I like kind of a stronger tea, but good wild edible to know. What you got? Okay, what we got here is cleavers. Uh, you'll notice these when you walk through the woods, they stick to you like glue. You'll come out of the woods with all these all over your uh, pants, stuff like that. Uh, if you're ever questioning if you got cleavers or not, the stem is square you can feel the stem it's very square it's got those like I said those barbs on it sticky they're not barbs they just kind of stick to you these are edible I actually I don't like the taste of these but you know it's something that you can get in your stomach get a handful of them uh, boil them up you, I eat them like a 
or a pot grain or something like that. Just a good plant to know. Get some uh, food in your belly. How's the taste with the ranch? It would be better than what it tastes like normally. So basically, put bring some, some ranch. Bring some ranch in your kit. This is my favorite part of the Prepared Mind 101 training facility. It could be 100 degrees for a month, and this freaking thing will be constantly wet and muddy. And it's so much fun mudding my Honda Accord through this. So I'm looking forward to a nice car washing when I get home. And this is not considered a wild edible. You cannot eat this. Well, I guess you could, but it wouldn't taste very good. Okay, what we have here is Mayapple. And I wanted to include this in the uh, wild edible scout that we're doing today. Because this is a poisonous plant. But it's one of those things that it, it can be used. People actually call this a... Uh, false mandrake or American mandrake or what have you. This plant is absolutely poisonous, toxic. This root stock, the, the uh, stem, the leaves, toxic. But if you see this flower on the bottom here, now sometimes that will bloom into a, a this is called may apple, so a, uh, an apple. And that apple can be harvested at the right times of the year. This is one of those things you have to do your research on. You have to know what you're doing if you choose to mess with a plant that can be toxic at any point of the year and even though this, this plant can be ripe at one part of the year you're still absorbing a certain amount of toxins when you eat this plant so like I said it's one of those things you have to do your research on you have to know what you're doing uh, not eating too much harvesting when it's the right time to harvest and uh, just you know I honestly in my opinion I, I stay away from plants that can be poisonous or can't be poisonous at certain times of the year I just don't like taking my chances but a lot of people do eat this plant uh, same way as pokeweed you know it can you, know, you get it when it's less than a foot high and it's edible you can boil it and eat it which is, is pokeweed salad I mean you know what country boy hasn't been raised on pokeweed salad but it's just one of those things that can be poisonous this is the same same way it can be toxic at certain points of the year but it can be harvested at certain points of the year so just one thing to put in your toolbox. Thanks for watching. And ranch will not help this at all. It's still going to be toxic. Okay, here's a good plant. People actually kind of I think this is just an invasive, an invasive weed, and they try to kill it as much as possible, and especially in state parks stuff like that. It's one of my favorites. I love this plant. This is garlic mustard. This is the second year growth of this plant, and the first year growth would be kind of a, a rosette, if you will, of leaves that almost look like that, but are more rounded, not as lobed as that. Pull that up because it's, there's so much back background green, so we can get a better shot of it. Hey, dude pull it up unless we we're going to use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll make something out. I'll eat it. Make sure you get the tops and all that stuff. Now the first year growth of this plant is, is very hard to identify because there are other plants that do look like this. So, like I said before, do your research, know what you're doing, or be with an expert that knows what he's doing. But this is great. I actually uh, we'll harvest a lot of these and take them back home and make sort of like a pesto sauce for them and stuff like that. Even just eating the leaves it has a nice garlicky fire to it. You know, great, great plant to know. I'm not going to say it this time. Now yeah, is there a ranch? <laughs> Three. So there you go. That's just a couple of the uh, wild edibles that we found while we're out here looking around. So I just wanted to do a kind of a quick intro video to some of the stuff that we could find and you know I'm really good at finding it and walking on it apparently but uh, hey what can you do it was invading my space I had my table set up there it got in the way so it got stepped on sorry but that's about it I'm Chris from Prepared Mind 101 I'm William Myers from Prepared Mind, one, prepared, uh, Pre -pre 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 Mind 101 yeah let's stop stuttering huh you don't know how many times I've done that. Stunning so, Stanley. Yep. And I'm so. William Myers from Prepared Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, sh subscribing, sharing our videos. And check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Prepared Mind 101. Post all the updates there, new videos, and hints toward new contests. So 
Keep watching. We'll keep making videos. Thanks, guys.